welcome back to another low mini vlog so you guys we are making um ground beef pasta and garlic bread or garlic bread knots um i'm gonna be showing you guys everything before we go ahead and get into it don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and consider subscribing joining the family we'd love to have you guys um, if you're already subscribed, thank you very much for doing so. We appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Okay, guys, so we're doing a bit of late night cooking. I kind of went ahead and, you know, skipped ahead. Um, I figured you guys have seen me do this so many times now. I don't want to, you know, bore you to death with me um, doing all the seasoning and the everything. You guys already know this part um pretty much but um tonight we used a different kind of beef um it's still lean ground beef but it was um it was uh like a what's it called naturally grain fed or something like that no antibiotics whatever whatever it was this it was this different brand um it was a good sale so i went ahead and picked it up and yeah so we are making I already told you guys what we're making, so I have to show you basically the um, the new pasta. This is why I was excited to go ahead and um, skip ahead. I just wanted to show you guys the new pasta. We're trying something new tonight. Um, you know, it's always good to, you know, try new dishes. Um, you don't want your palate to get bored. It's a good thing for us we literally love ground beef like we love it it's one of the best meats i cook with um it's really easy it's quick and it doesn't require a lot you just have to know how to season it properly and yeah it's good to go and you can make so many different dishes not just tacos um you know people whenever you think of ground beef you think of oh taco tuesday but there's many other dishes that you can make um, ground beef and rice, ground beef and pasta, um, you know, um, shepherd's pie, um, beef pot pie, many different, you know, things that you can do. So tonight we are going to be making some um, um, bow tie pasta. I'm going to show you guys. Also a new brand. Um, I decided to go ahead and try it out. I always wanted to try this brand. So we'll see. Um, it might be my new fave maybe I don't know it has, I don't know if it'll be better than the Lancia which is the brand that I use but um we'll see so I went ahead and kind of mix this in a little bit I'm just gonna go ahead and let it cook um, and I'll cover that and we'll come back to it I just want to go ahead and show you guys the pasta and the garlic bread so I'm going to just cover that and just leave it to the side a little bit so the steam can get out. And I'm going to show you guys the pasta that we're going to be using. So this is um, Fior Fior. It's like an Italian, um, Italian brand pasta. Yeah, it says made in Italy. Um, and this is the bow tie pasta. So I don't want to be up to, I know I'm pretty close, but let me just move you guys back a little bit so I can show you. So yeah, this is the um, pasta that we're going to be using tonight. Doing something a little different. Okay guys, so let me kind of move you back in. I'm going to make sure you guys can. Ooh, this is on a weird angle. Okay, let me just fix this. That's why I don't like to kind of move the camera once I have it set up because it's like then I struggle to kind of find where I want it to be. So hopefully you guys can see there. I think we got it fixed. Um, yeah, it's good there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this pasta ready. 
also want to show you guys is the buttons okay so i'm probably gonna have to definitely move back so you guys can see these are the ferlini um these are the ferlini buns usually i get the garlic bread slices but today we're going to be using the garlic bread knots if you guys can see i know it's really close but i don't want to move the camera again so hopefully you guys get the idea it's garlic knot bread that's what we're going to be having and it's garlic parmesan so these you put in the oven um these you put in the oven for 10 minutes so these are gonna go in the oven for 10 minutes in the bag and they should be good to go so i'm really excited to be trying these i wanted to try these for so long so i'm excited to go ahead and try them tonight and yeah let's check on the meat real quick Ooh, look at all that steam so yeah that's cooking nicely it's coming along nicely you guys can see we just move this to the light here so you guys can see properly and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and fix this lighting i'm not sure if i like how the lighting is give me a minute i'll be back okay guys we're back this is ooh, this is much better I think I have it sorted out. Hopefully. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get these ready for the oven. Let me just stir this a little bit. See the ground beef is starting to clump. When it starts cooking, it starts clumping up. Then you gotta kinda use the spoon and just kinda break it up all over again they were cooking those big clumps and we don't want it to do that the last time I made the ground beef for the tacos it was really well seasoned I really liked how I seasoned it, it wasn't too salty it wasn't too bland it was like just right and it was like the best oh my god we enjoyed that so much so I want the same results tonight I just started going in really easy with the seasoning salt in the beginning and then um, once we go further along and I taste it as I go if it needs more I add more but um because that seasoning salt is really really salty and the meat seasoning already has like salt in it so I don't want to be like over salting the food so. I use a smidgen of an amount in the beginning and then as we're going I add okay so I also have to get my Diana sauce you guys already know for those of you who are not new here I usually don't cook any type of meat without it it just um, it helps me to just adjust to the flavoring especially when it comes to beef beef is not something I eat a lot outside of um, ground beef so whenever I taste it, especially like the um like the the medium one, like the non-lean, the non-lean, it tastes so like meaty. I'm not used to such a strong meat flavor. So um, the Diana sauce really helps me to kind of you know handle that. Some of this don't mind. I'm gonna clean that up, but yeah. And this ground beef is a lot different too. It's a lot drier, so it's not giving off um too much and it's lean so that's another thing it's lean so it's not going to give off a lot of that oil fat so that's another good thing i find the lean i don't mind it as long as it's properly seasoned you can't really tell the difference in a way you can of course when it comes to cooking it because it doesn't have as much oil and stuff like that um but in terms of like the flavoring if you oops, sorry if you season it the right way it tastes the same it's all fine okay i'm gonna go ahead and turn the stove down and let this cook i'm gonna get my diana sauce and just add it in there where is it 
I'm just. I'm so excited for my garlic. I can't wait for my garlic bread knots. Mm -mm -mm. These are, those are gonna be so good. And I'm really curious to see how that butterfly um, bow tie. I keep saying butterfly. The bow tie pasta is gonna come out. Okay, so you guys see, I put a good amount. Always very generous with the Diana sauce. Especially when it's lean. When it's lean, it needs that extra little, oh, the little extra gravy to it because it's not making enough gravy on its own. I keep spilling stuff out the pot. Don't mind me, guys. I'm going to clean that up as soon as I'm done stirring this. So, basically, it's all mixed in, as you guys can see. I'm just going to let it cook. I'm just going to let it cook. Okay. So, that, so we're going to leave that there. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and get these garlic knots into the oven. So I'm probably going to have my daughter come and help me with these. Um, so you guys stay tuned. We'll be back. Show you guys the progress. If you've made it this far into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And if you are, thank you so much for doing so. We appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Okay, stay up at... Oh, we're not done. I was about to do the outro. We are not done. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, so I am back. It's been a little minute. Let's see what the meat is looking like. really good okay so I went ahead of course and we added in the Diana sauce so yeah this meat is done cooking I'm just gonna turn the stove down on low now and kind of just let it simmer it's done you guys can see that nice and cooked all the onions everything is nice and cooked in and yeah, so we're going to turn this way down onto low, or one. And we're ready to go ahead and put our pasta in. The, the water is already started to boil. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to, I already cut the bag open, my pasta, I already cut the bag open, so I'm just going to go ahead and get it in there. These don't take long to cook. I think that's it. You don't want too, too much. Good amount. And the yummy bread is, the garlic bread is cooking. I'm going to show you guys that when it's done, I'm going to put a little bit of um, oil in the water so that the pasta doesn't stick. Just a, just a tiny bit, nothing too, too much. Just a little bit. I'm just going to... I'm not adding any salt or anything to the water. I feel like the meat, the meat is salty enough. You guys heard that ding that's the oven so the garlic bread is probably finished so i'm excited to see how those are going to taste i'm just going to stir my pot a little bit here so we're going to let the pasta cook and then i'm going to come back and kind of show you guys what everything's looking like when it's all done so stay tuned we'll be back guys okay guys we are back finally everything is finished i will say this bow tie pasta takes a little bit longer to cook than regular spaghetti so yeah um but yeah so this is what the ferlini garlic bread um garlic parmesan bread knots are looking like really really good fresh out the oven um and yeah here's the ground beef all ready to go and yeah so this is dinner guys and 
we're gonna go ahead and get ready to dig in so if you've made it to the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching we appreciate your support don't forget like I said to like comment and subscribe um, if you're already subscribed thank you very much for doing so don't forget to like comment and share and yeah we'll see you guys in another video stay up and stay blessed and definitely definitely stay safe deuces Okay, guys i already started eating unfortunately but i wanted to just come back on and show you guys real quick how the bow tie pasta came out how i mixed it in with the ground beef and it's really really good so even though the um bow tie pasta takes a little bit longer to cook um i still like it so i'm definitely gonna go ahead and use it again um we might try it with some chicken next time we'll see we're gonna have to look up a recipe to make with it um but yeah for now it's really really good so i'm gonna go back and finish eating and yeah i just want to come back on and show you guys what dinner is looking like real quick yeah.